To perform the finish machining of the interior pocket, you have to define an iFinish operation. Again, create a copy of the current iMachining operation by clicking the Save and Copy button. The current iMachining operation dialog box closes, and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop-down menu under Technology and change the operation type to iFinish. The copied machining geometry, 6mm tool, and milling levels from the previous iRest operation are used for this iFinish operation. The same cutting conditions generated by the technology wizard are also used with a machining level aggressiveness of 5. Switch to the technology page of the iMachining Operation dialog box and move to the iRest data tab. The previous iRest operation is selected as the parent operation by default and the fields are automatically filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. Moving back to the Technology tab, note that the Wall Island Offset is now set to zero. In the Finish area, several iFinish toolpath optimization strategies are available for selection. For this exercise, you only need to finish the walls and not the floor. Under the Wall Finish section, you can select either Total Depth or Each Step Down, since the Total Depth and Step Down values are the same. Compensation is a function that allows small adjustments of the finish pass on the machine. In iMachining, the adjustment is only relative to the pass and not the cornering. Spring Pass provides a secondary pass in addition to the primary finish pass. This option helps offset tool deflection and ensures that parts are finished more accurately and dimensionally correct. Lead-in, lead-out location at start of chain enables you to define the start location for the iFinish toolpath. The tool leads into the cut at the start of the first chain picked during the geometry selection. Large compensation move enables you to define a large lead-in, lead-out for iFinish. This option is especially beneficial for older machines that require the compensation line to be greater than the tool diameter. For this iFinish operation, Enable the Spring Pass checkbox to perform a secondary finish pass along the walls and islands of the interior pocket. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Interior Pocket. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the iFinish operation to the cam tree and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath. The tool plunges inside the pocket and performs finishing of the corners first. It takes a finish pass along the walls of the pocket followed by a spring pass, and then finishes the islands in a similar way. When using spring pass, Take notice that the tool does not disengage or retract from the material between the primary and secondary pass. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining operation dialog box. In iMachining, it is important to know that rest material data is pulled from a previous parent operation, as shown on the iRest data tab of the technology page. If one of these three important values change, the data will update, but the subsequent iMachining operations will need to be recalculated. Click the Exit button to close the iMachining Operation dialog box. At this stage, Step 2 is complete, and the roughing, rest machining, and finishing of the interior pocket is defined. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to define the iRough, iRest, and iFinish operations to complete the machining of the interior pocket.